Thermidex day, goddammit. Right? One every other day. And liver and organ. Come on. Come on, liver and kidneys. Three of those motherfuckers. Alright, all day you may. Watermelon. Thank you, Chanel. You are <laughs> welcome. Alright, time to get ready for cardio. Cardio time. Oh, cardio time, damn it. Alright, meal one. Cardio done. Motherfucking stretching done. Vacuums done. Fucking feeling good. Motherfucking chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> so, fuck, man. Good shit. You ready to train, babe? God damn it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we got so much shit to do. We're probably not going to hit the gym until later, I think, today. I think it's going to be a, uh, a night workout. There's, yeah, I got so much shit to do. But we will get it in, god damn it. All right, meal two, god damn it. Barbecue chicken and broccoli, actually Parmesan cheese broccoli from Fresh Kitchen leftover, goddammit. So I'm grubbing and uh, just doing some work editing. And again, I got the silver plate and the gold motherfucking fork. So Chanel, we need to either get some black plates or some gold plates or some fucking <laughs> silverware or some shit. I'm so anal about fucking I'm out of my mind. As you guys know... When we first moved here, we were obsessed with decorating our place. Like, you guys have seen how we've kind of went a little crazy. But we never really finished. There's still more shit that we wanted to do that we haven't done. Because we got so fucking busy doing other shit that we didn't get to finish. So we still have shit we haven't finished as far as decorating the place. So um, what you guys have seen is pretty much what we've done. But there's more to come. We just haven't fucking finished. <laughs> So we gotta fucking work on that shit, babe, right? Mm -hmm. How long have we been here? Uh, Six months, five months, four months? I just wanna say Long five fucking time. Months. I've lost yeah. count. Okay, it's time for the gym. Let's fucking kill it, God damn it! Okay, today we're gonna kill arms and it's gonna be an all dumbbell workout. No motherfucking cables. We're just going to destroy them with straight motherfucking dumbbells on one bench, period. So I'm starting off with tricep dumbbell skull crushers, which is an incredible exercise for the outer head of the tricep, the medial head. So when you use a bar, you're working the long head, the inner head. Dumbbells is mostly outer head. Great fucking mass builder. Now we're going on to incline dumbbell curls together at the same time so your arms are not resting. They're both working constantly. Full stretch at the bottom, big squeeze on top. Very fucking important. Stretch and squeeze that shit. All right, next exercise is one arm dumbbell extension to the side of the head. I like to pump these out quick, get a nice pump. And again, this is for the outer head, destroying that outer head of the tricep. All right, next, concentration curls, Arnold style, goddammit, arm hanging straight down, coming up and squeezing on top, big squeeze at the top, best fucking bicep exercise as far as peak and pump and size in my opinion. All right, next, another tricep mass builder, but this one is for the long head, which is the inner head of the tricep, overhead dumbbell extension. This will put a shitload of mass on your triceps, but don't go too heavy. It will fuck your elbows up. So if you notice, I'm using like a 30 pound dumbbell for high reps because in the past, I completely fucked my elbows up going up to 70s and 80s. All right, dumbbell tricep kickbacks. These are a great movement. I wouldn't say they're a great mass builder. I just think you get a good squeeze and really bring some good shape to the tricep and a good pump and finishing exercise. But definitely an exercise I throw in once in a while, but not one of my main tricep exercises. Next exercise, hammer curls. 
one arm at a time so I can really concentrate on that brachialis, bicep, and forearm. I come up, I squeeze that shit, and these I go rather heavy because I want to put mass on my fucking forearms. That's my goal. All right, Zotman curls. Now, Zotman curls are an incredible exercise that many people are not aware of. You've got to give this one a try. It's great for the bicep, brachialis, and really blast the forearm. When you twist it on top and bring it down, you got to keep your elbows in tight. You're going to want to bring your elbows out, and that takes the tension off the forearms. So when you keep your elbows in, it's painful as fuck. It is shake it time. Is shake God, time. Damn God damn it. Man, that was the most awesome fucking arm workout. All dumbbells. Fucking old school. That was fucking the shit, man. I need to stay, I need to stay the fuck away from cables. <laughs> That's for goddamn sure. I got the craziest pump. So anyway, let's fucking drink this shit and fucking fill these motherfuckers up, right? Full as fuck, goddammit. <laughs> okay, vacuum time, goddammit, here we go. Good shit, goddammit, small waist. It is food time, damn it. We are heading to, where are we going, babe? <laughs> what, wait, like you really want me to make a decision right now? I thought you already made the decision. <laughs> well, we talked about three different places. What sounds the best? Oh, man, Five Guys or Chipotle? Oh, you're asking me to decide? Yeah, I, I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Chipotle. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I fucking pulled right in front of that guy. But I didn't fuck him up, so that's all that matters, right? Five Guys is... I don't know, though. Five Guys is good, but fuck, it's not in and out, you know? Yeah, I know. Oh shit. We don't really have any fucking, uh... Good burger places, yeah. Fucking sucks. We gotta go to Cheesecake Factory for a good burger. Cheesecake Factory is the best burgers we have here. And we got a couple people gave us shout outs and told us where to go. And we went to one of those, at least one of the two places I saw. What was it called? Foursquare or something? Square One. Square One in Tampa, which, you know, I can't say it was bad, but it wasn't as good as Cheesecake Factory, right? Yeah, I mean, the flavors were, like, really interesting and really good, but the portion was off, and my, I mean, I like my burgers medium rare, but that was just straight raw meat, so I was like, shit, so I ended up having to cook it Wait, when I got that, home. Wait, is that, you think about the same place? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because mine was cooked okay. Yeah, she's here, right? We get the Kobe beef, so I'm sure you guys know that shit. We still haven't got our shit down as far as places to eat at here. It's taking a long ass time, man. Well, We're you done. know, they just opened a habit, <laughs> but it's in Orlando. That's like an hour and a half, maybe two hours away. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> God, nothing's that good. <laughs> All yeah, right. What do you know? We're at Chipotle. Chipotle, dead as fuck. Just like LA. <laughs> Damn, look, there's one motherfucker, no, two people in there, and they're fucking leaving right now. Oh, no, there's just some other people over there. Yeah, there's just a couple really people in there. It's fucking dead as fuck. Man, Chipotle, what's up? All right, got our Chipotle. Fucking looks good. Double meat. 
No beans and rice. Don't give a fuck. Don't really care for beans and rice. They don't really make it that much better, I don't think. It's all about the, the fucking meat, the salsa, sour cream, guacamole. Ah, guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Well, because, you know, when you're doing like a bodybuilder diet or, you know, a carb diet, you don't oh, fucking you can't eat. can't have levels. Well, you know, huh? yeah, you don't really it's like eat a lot of. moderation kind of thing. You can't have a whole lot of fats. Right. I mean, you eat healthy fats, but not a lot, you know, so it's fucking. Guacamole, goddammit. Starving, dude. Always starving. I don't eat enough, but fuck, man. Because, I mean, you guys can't eat enough, goddammit. The more you eat, the bigger you get. I'm trying to come down. I'm trying to come way down. It's crazy how when I was young, it was so hard to fucking get big. It was, like, impossible. I'd be eating everything. Constantly. Just fucking seafood diet. See it, eat it. Taking tons of shit, and it was just a long fucking road. It seemed like I was never gonna get there. And uh, now it's like the opposite. Now it's fucking. I just eat carbs and fucking train half ass and fucking just grow. It's just crazy. Still gotta do feeder workouts tonight. Fuck! Calf feeders. This is honestly the first time I ever did calf feeders. So, it's because, you know, how the fuck do you do calf feeders, right? I mean, you don't have a fucking calf raise at your house. But we are making it work. God damn it, right? Mm -hmm. And, fuck, it's, it's fucking working. I get crazy ass pump. My calves are one of my body parts that just get the craziest pump. Though. My hamstrings and calves and my biceps, those are probably my three areas that just get the most insane pump. My triceps take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of reps. My chest, pretty easy. Back is fucking hard as fuck to pump. It's hard to get a pump on the back for me. And you know, it's all, it's all concentrating, squeezing, isolating. You know, back's the hardest muscle. And I can get it, but it's, it fucking, it's the hardest. Quads, I think, is pretty easy. I don't think anyone has a problem getting a pump in their quads. <laughs> you fucking do 20 reps of squats and and I think anyone's gonna fucking get a pump in their quads. What about back? You actually feel a pump in your back, like your lats and shit? Um, not so much that I feel a pump, I wouldn't say, like, because I know that there's like a difference, but right. it definitely feels something like well, I mean, uh, like a take, surge. Maybe we, but... need, we need to give you some full of spot or something. <laughs> fucking triceps. No. See what happens, huh? All right, we'll try that next time. Give me some full as fuck and watch your triceps fucking pump up. And if not, we'll just give you a little trend and, you know. Yeah, that'll go over <laughs> really well.